Hey everybody, earlier this winter I had an amazing chicken sandwich from Saffron Street, one of the kitchens here at a ghost kitchen inside the Humboldt Park Eatery. And it was remarkable because it wasn't just another fried chicken sandwich, it was literally a tikka masala, a butter chicken if you will, on a fantastic milk bun from Aya Pastry. But it turns out the owner's doing a lot more than just sandwiches. This is really a plan to open a brick and mortar restaurant later this year. And what he's hoping to do inspired by a lot of the great Indian cookbooks from overseas, is create a more modern approach to Indian food in Chicago. You can tell pretty quickly Najib Mohammed is serious about what he's cooking. His spices all come from diaspora, an importer based in Northern California. A shelf full of cookbooks serve as inspiration. He wants to break down stereotypes that typically plague Indian food. Breaking the stereotype that is like curries and you know the usual dals and stuff. So we're taking that food and trying to give it in a more modern and you know contemporary way. But before he can open his brick and mortar, he's focusing on approachable items like a chicken tikka masala sandwich. We made the sauce and then we marinated the chicken and yogurt and other spices and we cook it first and we chop it up and then we saute both of them together and then we assemble the sandwich with some cilantro slaw, cilantro and yogurt slaw. Other more casual approaches include fries made from okra rather than potatoes, aggressively seasoned and served with a bracing chili chutney. When he's not making sandwiches, Muhammad works on dishes like his chat, carefully pan-frying potato cakes that will eventually be drizzled with yogurt, tamarind, and mint chutneys. It's a colorful preview of one of the staples from the restaurant menu. Chaat is it's a small plate, so it's, it's, it's the most famous Indian street food you could ever have. More recently, he's added a three-course menu you can order online with some plated dishes that show a refined skill in both seasoning as well as construction. A lamb shank korma inspired by the north, suffused with warm spices, slow cooked until fork tender. Even more impressive, a butternut squash makani with paneer, that's cheese, and a hazelnut crumble topped with sprigs of fresh cilantro. I could drink that sauce with a straw. It's a world away from the steam table Indian food you might think of on Devon Avenue. These dishes are supposed to be plated, and that's what we're trying to do, you know. Take it to the next level and do, it, do the right things with it. Now you can find the sandwich, the fries, and the chaat on the usual delivery apps, but you can also find that three-course deli menu via Talk, and it's a great preview for the restaurant Najib hopes to open later this year. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, everybody.